volleyball vacations. Hey, party with the pros! Yes. Volleyball vacation started back in 1993 and we just thought it'd be a big party and it kind of grew to be more of a real event where now we come in and we're on schedule for eight hours of volleyball a day. It's a lot of volleyball from about nine in the morning till six. You stay here and you dig the hard driven or you dig a cut shot or you run for the line. We got a solid crew. We got about 150 campers. We have 12 professional volleyball players, men and women. Three Olympians. Sean Rosenthal, known as Rosie. Like the pink signature. Gary Walsh and Phil Dahlhauser were just won over a month ago in Beijing. I had to beat this guy right here <laughs> for this. I think the coolest part is that these campers are from all over the country in the U.S. and all over the world. I think we have people from as far away as, you know, France. I feel like we always get a lot of Canadians. <laughs> Go I'm from Toronto, Canada. New York, New York. Boston, <laughs> South Carolina. Long Island, New York. We live in Manhattan Beach, California. Campers and the pros and coaches are just, it's so interactive. You know, everyone's on the same playing field. I'm, uh, I'm 0-3 right now. Those are kicking my butt. I've played a couple matches. <laughs> I won the B game with uh, John, then lost the double A game with Mike, and we played Matt Olson and Brad from Tennessee. Oh yeah, no problem. I'm gonna go up and block every time. I'm five foot nothing, a hundred and nothing. <laughs> Need to win one game before I go. Just once. Oh. So when we do come to different countries, we like to go and, and see what's outside the resort. Um, you know, we like to know that we're coming and we're building a little economy here. We've gone to the conch shack. Come on down. Try to put a little hustle on, okay guys? We gotta go to Conk Shack. This little place, I don't know if you heard of it. Well, the Conk Shack, you know, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's this, you know, the cutest little, basically, hut where they serve you fresh conch. This is a conch. You're, you're all gonna try this. You're gonna try it raw. You're gonna try it just about moving. You're gonna try it cooked. There's lots of ways to do a conch. The foot comes out, you pull it out. And then there's something that's called a pistol. When you eat that, it's known as the island Viagra. I don't think this crowd needs it, but you should try it anyway. <laughs> Pretend that was funny. <laughs> there was definitely some love happening around here. Said if you want to get with me, girl, this is what you'll find. But a man who's got the type of this to make you lose your mind. I got a picture with Phil and Carrie, and then I finished it off with Bridget from the Playboy Girls Next Door. Best vacation ever! I got someone that just flew in, and his name is Sean Rosenthal. Sean, come on! I arrived on Wednesday night. Everybody was already there, and uh, I guess Albert didn't tell anybody that I had arrived. Rosie! the way to get it started. Straight off a plane, straight to uh, the Kong Shack where everybody's uh, having a good time. I had to do a little catch up.
how they do it in the pros. Oh, boom! John McDonald's house in Turks and Caicos. Beautiful house. A little uh, off campus from Club Med. Awesome! What kind of Simone and I'm a love zone? And when we take control, the girl stop wrong. What kind of Michelle from up a still well? And when we take control, the girl is well. Hey, everybody, I just want to thank my best yeah. buddy John McDonald for having us on. Yeah! You guys are a great group. And so we said, let's yeah. do it. And here you are. And if you don't, if you don't rip it up, you're not going to be invited back. <laughs> yeah. no, but anyway, here's the Johns. A local high school here in Turks and Caicos. We're putting something together now where everywhere we go we're going to be donating equipment to schools in the local areas because we really want the sport to grow. We want to spread the word about this sport, you know, get kids being active and get them playing beach volleyball. You guys can do anything you want in life. We're hoping that the next Olympians for beach volleyball come from the Turks and Caicos. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that school was an F-rated school, which I guess is uh, one of the very lower ranked schools around. And we had a soccer field that was like dirt and gravel and one soccer ball. And, you know, if we could just get them on the beach with volleyballs and, and a couple nets, they live in a beautiful place. But, you know, they didn't have all the facilities that we have at our, at, when we're growing up. My message to you today, you guys, is that you just have to dream big because that's where it all starts. For me, like I said, it started when I was a little girl. I used to have to wear a uniform like you guys had on. Um, mine wasn't as cute. But, um, so I had to work hard in school, and then I got to go, and it was my privilege to play volleyball. It wasn't a right, it was something that I had to earn. It was pretty, uh, pretty cool to see the kids' faces. Uh, I guess they don't get to see many uh, Olympic athletes. I'm pretty sure all of them knew uh, Kerry with her two gold medals, and Phil brought his gold medal. What was your happiest moment on the ball? Well, for me, it was winning the gold medal uh, a few months back. You want to Yeah? Somebody was telling me the island has never won a medal ever. So uh, we pulled out the gold medal, and they, uh, they had a good time with it. A lot of people have never seen one before, you know, and it's just, it makes, I think, the dream of the Olympics of winning gold medal just tangible. They were so fired up. You know, it put a smile on their face, and, and that's what puts a smile on my face, basically. Of the volleyball, but it's a lifestyle as well. 
think to myself What a wonderful world People who have never played volleyball before will absolutely fall in love with the sport because the, the coaches and the players love it you know so much and they're so eager to teach it. We get to share our stories, our experiences, and a little bit of our knowledge to them. I've seen improvement in almost every single player, so uh, that means we're doing something right. I couldn't be happier with my pros. Having that mix of the very top to the very best people, I'm lucky to be able to do this and to be able to have these guys come and give me their time and, and efforts. Now all I've got to say is, uh, Phil, you know, if uh, Todd gets tired of winning gold medals, <laughs>